Uh, hello, uh, this is, I'm going to try something new. I have to give up on my other method of trying to coordinate all the mirroring and phones and computers. I'll just do it manually now. I want to show the final step of this transfer process. And so here's the, the beautiful uh, current data that we downloaded from... Um, downloaded from LuckGrib, it's viewed in LuckGrib, and now I want to move that to different computers, like either to this computer or that one, or here over at the Expedition over here, or something like that. And I'm going to do it wirelessly. And so the first thing to note is, if I go on here and I look at my settings, you see I'm hooked on this network that I'm on here. That is the wet network of this device right there that's blinking away. That's a local network. And so I'm on that with this one. That's correct. Um, let's see, L-U-C-K, luck grip. Okay, and then the main computer here, if you I go up here and click this, you see I'm on that same network here, likewise. And then over here on the PC, let's see if I can see that. Oh no, you see, I didn't shut it off. Okay, that's a, that's a point I made here. So here's a point in the instructions. Let's see, zoom out. I'm gonna zoom out so, so people can take, you can take a picture of that. But here's what this says here. Uh, for practice, you may have to take your local network, the one that you have at home that you rely on, you've trained it to always go back to that one, always find that and log in automatically and so forth. You may have to, for testing, now, once you're on the boat, none of this matters. It'll all work just smoothly. But when you've got your own home network trying to protect you and look after you, it's going to keep jumping in and trying to turn on, and it's going to override. It's going to, oh, I'm sorry, you can't see what I'm talking about. You, it's going to override this uh, local network. So that you might have to go into your network system for practice and just shut it off, say don't, don't, don't automatic log in. Okay, and so here then are the instructions I'm going to follow through step by step, but we're going to do it down here on the, on the phone. And uh, I, I try, I, I don't want to even say how long I try to get all this working technically on the one screen, but it didn't. Okay, so we start out with tapping this uh, menu button up at the top. And then here, you are going to slide this to the left. These are, all, these are all steps in that sheet up there on the page. And I can actually put that somewhere in writing. Uh, and then I'm going to hit share. So once you hit share, then you come down here and we're going to have to move. These are the apps we share with, and I'm just going to have to slide those across. And the file transfer app that we want to use that we discussed in the previous, uh, no, uh, previous uh, video. Oh, by the way, the other note is if you've not done it, please read through the description of the video and the other. It has a lot of background information. Okay, so then you would hit other or more it is, and now we would just z slide this guy up till we see file transfer right there. And then you press file transfer. And then sure enough, there's the file showed up there. It, it, we didn't have to do anything more, it showed up there. Now, what we want to do is, it says select all, or sometimes that just says select, but let me just see if I say select. I want that to go red. I just touched it and it went red. So that's ready to go then. And then I want to come down here and I want to hit send, send. And now send to a computer. Send to a computer. Now it's reminding me what I, what IP address I will go to on the computer I'm going. I want to send it to. Now this could be a this could be any computer. It'd be a little bit different if you were on a phone or something else. So now I come back here to the computer and uh, let's see. Oh, I need a browser. I open a browser. Let me drag one over here. So I have a, now a browser, and I set up just a bookmark for that. You see, file transfer, and then that, all that did, that, that, I bookmarked that, which is what you would do on the boat. If you're doing this on a regular basis, you would just bookmark that so you don't have to type it in every time. And then there is the link that will bring up this, providing you're on the right network, right? This local network. And now at this point, you just hit download. Now, you would think we were done. The phone actually said this, transfer complete, but I'm not sure it is. Uh, let's say save and then go up here. 
But you see, look what it said. And, and different computers are going to, uh, your system's going to behave differently, but you just have to keep this in mind. And you may only have to do it once, once you set this up on the boat. But here it says I have to, it's an insecure network, and I'm going to say keep it. Okay? Now that probably then did the actual download. And I can go now to my, uh, to my downloads, uh, downloads here and look at uh, date, and there's the file right there. So I did, it, it moved the file. Now, that, this is going to be not, the, not a very pretty picture of how to do it, but let me, um, let me go here. I'm going to just open QTVLM, you see there, and then I'm going to open a grib file, and there's that grib file. There's the one we just did right there, and I'm going to say open. And okay, so it, it doesn't know the time. So we have to set the time to the time of the first currents. Okay, there. So there are the currents now in, viewed, uh, viewed in LUCRI, uh, no, viewed in, uh, in QTVLM. And you could either move it along with this slider like this and see them change. Or here's one hour, I've got, I've got this set to one hour so you could do one hour steps and so forth like that. Or you can do things like, look, th this is just like one of the reasons you might want to transfer to other programs, just to look at other options, optional ways to look at the data. Now, if I right click at this point and say mediogram, mediogram, then that's going, oh boy, yeah, how good are you? you don't get a full view. Okay, now I got to go to currents. And there, okay, oh, and here's the whole point. I loaded both tides and currents. So here's a case where, now which is the currents? The yellow, the yellow here are the currents, and that's the speed of the currents, and that's the direction of the currents there, like that, but that's the speed of the currents, the peaks and the valleys, and so, I mean, maximum, minimum. Never, uh, minimum it gets to is this like 0.6 or, well, whatever this is. Uh, 0.5, slow as it goes. But here's the interesting thing. Notice that the core, we, we can study here very beautifully, just as a matter of not even weather analysis, but just main marine navigation. We can study the fact that there is no correlation between the tide height and when the peak currents are. Here, the, you know, there's sort of a, you know, sort of a correlation, but it's going to be different tomorrow as it is today. It depends on the the, the strength of the cycle and so forth. But you see, here's the peak of the tide, and then here's the minimum, then here's the maximum of the current occurring at, you know, down here near the minimum, right? Near the minimum of the, of, the, of the tide. The lowest point of the tide has got your strongest current, roughly. So, so anyway, that's besides a navigational, I mean, besides weather tactics, you can do these other kind of studies by having the ability to take this beautiful data that we can only get from LuckGrib and then load it into other programs. And maybe later I'll tack on showing how you load this into exped Expedition. It's just exactly the same thing. All right, thank you. Bye. Sorry for the really awkward uh, style of this presentation, but I couldn't figure out how to do it otherwise.